There is absolute blood all over the markets, let alone even just crypto. Yesterday, more than a trillion dollars was blown out of the traditional US stock market through the suggestions that we may be expecting some sort of recession coming up. In this video, we are going to delve into those sort of things right here, right now. So thank you for being back with me on the Crypto Bliss Show. Once again, beast moding another video for you. So much love to you all. And thanks for watching the beautiful energy of what it is that we're about to do. So thanks for being here. I have been stopped out of my Ethereum trade because as we know, Ethereum blasted down. Um, I've been buying Zen here at the bottom. It almost got stopped out here as well. My Zen trade is bleeding, but I continue to persist here. We are going to get a breakout. My take profit for Zen is all the way up there. Uh, but let's go and have a look at USDT in a short moment. Today, we are seeing and expecting that with things like the SAM rule recession indicator has not ever failed in terms of determining a recession. I'm going to show you why in a moment. So as you can see here, the moment we cross past the 0.5%, okay, what does this actually mean? Which we're currently crossing through here. The SAM rule recession indicator is calculated as the three month moving average, i.e. that 0.5% of the unemployment rate minus its low from the prior 12 months. Historically, recessions have been correlated with this measure rising above the 0.5 percentile. Mad. Let's go and have a look here. Because with United States unemployment rate absolutely skyrocketing at the moment, currently sitting at about 4.1% at this point. This is the, the highest we have seen it since October 2021 and above market expectations that it could remain at 4.1%. Now, instead, the labor force participation rate edged higher to 62.7% from 626 Just slight adjustments in the market. But even worse, the jobs report for July employment growth slows as just 114,000 jobs were added in the month of July. Now, what does this all actually mean? I'm going to show you right here. 0.5% is the trigger that we're looking at on the SAM rule recession indicator. The SAM rule recession indicator was developed by a person called Claudia SAM. And basically what she's saying to us is that this time could be very different. However, generally when we see the SAM indicator triggered, U.S. unemployment rate and recession, as you can see here, the SAM in 1953, all the way through, okay, SAM was 63, 50s, all of them, April 2020, it even went all the way to four, the highest we have ever seen it, okay, in the history of humankind. The unemployment rate at that time went up to 50%. 15%. So I wonder what actually happens when the Federal Reserve manipulates the markets through their use of language in their Federal Reserve meetings, just like we had on Wednesday, Fed Powell, yet all the rest of the countries around the world are busy chopping, slicing their rate dis their rates by 25 basis points. The US continues to hold fort. Is this a mistake? I would like to know if you believe it's a mistake. Let me know down in the comments below. But in the meantime, you can see here that all the way, literally the closest it ever was, was here at one month prior. The closest it ever was, was one month prior. And this was the 1980. And the unemployment rate was at 6.3. Okay. Then 1981, we had another recession. Huh. 
8.3%. March, December, February, all of these are generally about two to three months average before the recession starts once the indicator crosses past the line. Okay, the 0 0.5 line. This means that now a recession is getting ready over the next two to three months. But is it truly going to potentially be different this time? Well, let's go and have a look here. Because if we look at the Fed unemployment rates, you can see here, all the blue line is all employees total non-farm. That has been bleeding down ever since 2021. Okay? It has been absolutely bleeding, which means that jobs are being lost in the market. That's not a good sign. Okay. Not only that, shout out to Henrik Zieberg. Powell, I love, I love, just love what he says. And he's being facetious because Mr. Jay Powell is playing a fool with you and with me. Okay. But you and I, by watching this channel, will see right through their bullshit, okay? And being part of the crypto space, as a cryptopreneur, you will see right through their bullshit. So don't sell any of your coins right now, okay? I just gave away the entire title of this video. But don't sell. What's the point in selling at the bottom of the market, okay? Is it really the bottom? We're going to have a look. But Powell... We will scour, scour jobs reports for signs of weakness. Me, scour no longer. I found it. Because the recession signal, every single time, boom, recession signal. Recession, recession signal. Recession signal, recession. Recession signal, recession. Recession signal, recession. 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 <laughs> Where the fudge are we right now? Okay, we've had the recession signal. And in fact, we could possibly have been in a recession already for the last three to six months, which means we are already late, which is why we are bleeding so badly in this market right now. Although I'd like to say to you that currently Bitcoin is currently holding its position. Now, very interesting. I actually drew this chart for us yesterday. This was on the four hourly time frame. This is a upper channel that you can see there. And we broke through the bottom channel here. We've had a major candle wick down here, currently on that level. Okay, right there, as you can see, horizontal level. Okay, we are bouncing and probably going to start to pull back up. The problem here is that on the four hourly time frame, we've seen our indicator start to cross. Our 10 pull down way past the 200 even, which is actually quite bearish. Now, returning back here, we are already in a recession. So if you are being fooled by all of the news and the noise and everything that's busy happening around, okay, we are already in a recession. And if you're in crypto and you're doing well and you're still managing to invest, I bought myself more Bitcoin today already. I'm buying myself more Bitcoin. Why did I buy myself more Bitcoin? Well, why wouldn't you buy when Bitcoin is doing this and pulling back? I mean, I bought me some more Bitcoin here at about 60, 61K odd, okay? I don't care what the price is right now. Anything under the previous all-time high, I'm going to continue to accumulate. And in fact, just like Michael Saylor says, I will buy the top forever. I am going to do the same because you cannot have enough Bitcoin with what it is that I'm about to show you going forward. So yes, we have some recessions. Those are busy unfolding right now. But as you can see, 500 days before the halving, you buy Bitcoin. 500 days after the halving, you sell your Bitcoin. That in total is 1,000 days just about. Okay, on average, across the board if you've and been part of my channel for some time now you will actually know that this is a very bullish signal okay every single time and i did a calculation okay that in fact i'll do it for you halving day halving day to bottom 487 candles 487 days 
Let's go try again. From there to the bottom. 500 odd days. Okay. 517 odd days. The same thing from there. The same thing from there. Well, guess what? I want to show you something even more profound. The halving to the high. That's 335 days. Uh, actually, sorry. Because we didn't take out the second high here, which is actual high. 550 days. All right. Our next one to the halving date. 500 and odd days. That is where my can my my green line ends. Well, guess what? We haven't even gone there yet. Okay. We have approximately still from this month's candle. And remember, these are monthly candles, guys. We still have approximately another one year until we could possibly reach the next high taking us to absolutely ludicrous prices. Why do I believe we're going to hit ludicrous prices? My personal target is 300,000. And in fact, I've drawn this for you guys tremendous amounts of time. I want to put my target here for you guys. 300,000. And I'm going to just put this for you. My target. October 2025, more or less October, October to August to October 2025. That's my target, 300K. I keep saying that to you. That's still miles away from where we currently are and approximately at least another 4X, okay? Pretty darn juicy, decent right now. Now, I wanna zoom in just ever so slightly on the monthly candle that we've just had that closed. Look. It closed above all of the bottom here. It wicked all the way down, broke the low all the way down here, pulled right back up. Okay, closed in the green. We're back testing the same freaking level right now. And I just want to draw an incy wincy teeny little tiny toodly toddler line for you because look at how incredible. The zone is right here. Look how exceptionally accurate trading can be for you. Okay. So we broke through here. We closed above this level. We pushed up. We rejected on the major upward sloping resistance level. Pulled back to the breakout level. Bounced up. Faked out. Bounced right back up. Pulled back down. Didn't close above there. Shot all the way back down, pulled all the way back up and pulled, closed very nicely. And essentially, this is a candle that is pointing to the upside. Uh, if I can find a nice one for you, I will find a nice one for you. Okay, but not to worry at this point. So yes, right now we're busy back testing the same level. Cool. We could hover around here for another one, two, three potential months. Three potential months takes us August, September, October, right? Ah, before we even get anywhere near breaking back up to the top. So I would not go anywhere with your Bitcoin. I told you I'm buying Bitcoin left, right and center. And so seems to be Kevin Svensson and a number of other Bitcoiners. Because even on the MACD, okay, what we've seen here is the MACD and the stochastic RSI speaking to each other with price action. Same thing here. We're pulling back a little bit. It's okay. Let us pull back a little bit. Let's go on to the daily time frame, right? Because the daily time frame, you can see here that the daily time frame is now looking for some support along this zone. I wonder, have we got a, a shoulder, a head, and a shoulder for me? I wonder. Could you let me know down in the comments below? I'd love to know what your thoughts are. But we didn't even make it back down to the bottom here. So I would not be shooting myself. Actually, we try to break up. We hit this very strong level of resistance here. Boom. Cool. Of course, we need to pull back a little bit. So freaking what? Buy some more Bitcoin. Now, this is a very interesting chart. Because even though you can see here, the price of Bitcoin for a house used to be about 772 Bitcoin. At today, you can use about 10 and a half Bitcoin and get a house. But down here, you used to spend about $160,000 and get a house. 
Today, you have to spend about $312,000 and get a house. That's double, and this is lowered by 70x, okay? Did you hear me? 70x, but yet dollars have gone up by 2x. I wonder why that is. Well, when the US economy prints $126 billion in like a week, okay, you cannot expect anything less. This thing is just being blown to shit. It's gone to shit. They cannot stop printing. It is going to print more, okay? And that will give us a much higher price in gold. Now, there's a few other charts that I want to go and show you. First of all, the price of S&P in Bitcoin, okay? You used to be able to buy, use about 9.2 to get one S&P stock. Now you need 0.12 to buy an S&P stock. You used to have to spend about $1,800 to buy the stock. At today's prices, you have to use just shy of $4,600. That's a 3X. Oh, I wonder why the stock markets continue to pump then, right? Because the money printers just keep going. Brrr. And that's why Bitcoin is the best hedge against inflation and money printing because they are printing your value to dust okay so let's go and have a look at something this is going to show us one of the most important things especially to those not the specific chart but i'm going to show you this chart before i get on to the most important thing that you used to be able to buy use about five bitcoin in 2015 to basically get uh, an ounce of gold Today, you need 0 0.05. That's 100x in the last decade that Bitcoin has gained against gold. 100x. Mad. Back here, $1,327 to buy an ounce of gold. Up here, it's 2000 Okay, it's like 700 difference, but yet, this is a 100x difference. So to all those beautiful gold bugs, I mean, I own gold, a small amount, but I'm actually going to be selling the shit out of my gold, my silver, when the market starts to get pumping once again, because I don't want to sell at the bottom. Don't be, don't be that person that sells at the bottom and then the market pumps. Don't be that person. Okay. But when my, when my um, metals appreciate in price, I'm done. I'm selling everything all my altcoins everything into bitcoin okay why because bitcoin is the hardest most valuable limited asset on the entire planet okay it just is what it is now this is going to lead me into the most important part of this video so without any hesitation thank you for being here part of the crypto bliss channel show some love for the community i would truly appreciate that Normally, what happens during these moments of recessions is that there is either a creation of war or uh, something has to be going on in the world that is seemingly bad that distracts you and I from what is actually going on in the markets in the background while they print money, depreciate your assets, and buy them all up with the printed money okay so i hope you have accumulated bucket tons of money to buy these assets right now because what i want to show you is is that wag the dog was a movie the film centers on a spin doctor and a hollywood producer who fabricates a war in albania to distract voters from a presidential sex scandal. Well, I wonder what's coming in November. Is that possibly a presidential election happening? I wonder if something is being fabricated at the moment because wag the dog is just what it is, okay? It's a political movie where all movies are documentaries and interesting, Dustin Hoffman and Robert De Niro. Okay, I remember watching this movie. This is unfolding as we speak. And if you are not prepared and positioned in this market, and you do not own some Bitcoin, you do not own any Bitcoin, 
then use my links pinned down in the cart, the description of my videos. Get yourself some Bitcoin. You need to get yourself minimum 0.01 Bitcoin. Minimum. Okay. Minimum 0.01 Bitcoin. What is that going to cost you today? 0.01 Bitcoin is going to cost you $620. Okay. Now I've seen things in the market where people are saying even just $62 of Bitcoin will make you but financially free in the future. 10, 20 years, I don't know. I want to be wealthy now in the next five years, in the next one year, because I've prepared myself for this. So my personal advice to you is to do 0.1 minimum. That's $620. I'm sure you can find $620. Okay. War currently being anticipated in the fabricated sense okay how do we know that this is happening well first of all we've had a massive nearly one trillion dollars wiped out from the u.s stock market check okay two we have more than fifty thousand u.s personnel currently sitting in the middle east okay as you can see here right now fifty-seven thousand. I wonder what it's going to cost to feed 57,000 freaking soldiers in another country, okay? 57,000. Cheese like. Okay? That is mad. Okay. Now, they're busy sitting in Qatar, UAE, Bahrain, Kuwait, okay? Nothing in Yemen and Oman. Thousand in the Gulf Sea. And in uh, Eastern Mediterranean, 12,500. In Jordan, 3,500. In Israel, 100. In Syria, 900. In Iraq, 2,000. <laughs> My freaking word. Okay. The signs are just there. The signs are obvious. So, currently, market mentality. Jobs reports stronger than expected equals sell stocks. Higher rates are here to, to stay. Now, please bear in mind that this is being facetious. Jobs report weaker than expected equals sell stocks. We are going into a recession. Jobs report as expected. Sell stocks. Inflation is still a problem. For the last two years, bad news was good news for the stock market. Bad news is now bad news again. And that's how you know recession fears are, ri are arising. It's going to be a bumpy road ahead. So enjoy the ride and take it slowly. But with that being said, BlackRock, while everybody else is doing what they're doing, BlackRock continues to buy Bitcoin. 118, 200, 1,500 ETH. They're buying the Bitcoin that you're sleeping on right now. Okay. Not only that. But this is an emergency news session, okay? Because prediction markets are now pricing in a base case for four interest rate hikes after Fed Chair Powell said, possibly we could enter in a, a f one rate hike over the rest of the year. We could entertain that. Bullshit. Call your bluff. The market is seen right through your bullshit, okay? Because the data does not lie. The charts cannot lie. They don't lie. Even though they can be manipulated, they don't lie. Okay. So the base case now shows a 50 basis point uh, interest rate cut at the beginning of September meeting. There is even a 31% chance of five or more rate cuts in 24 with just Three meetings remaining. Okay. I don't know about you, but that means they're going to drop this fast, which means that recession is on the loom. Do you know what they do when they drop rates? Printers. But the printers have been going. I've, I've showed you that in the US dead clock. The printers are going. The printers are still busy turning right now. They're busy working as I'm doing this video. The printers don't stop printing money. It's as simple as that. Okay, 
truly you beautiful being don't be fooled now bitcoin power of three in play accumulation manipulation and then expansion shoulder head shoulder we're freaking on support it is what it is we're going to break out the next move up is going to be probably to about 120k more or less maybe 90 at the very least but i reckon by the time we hit that 100,000 level people are going to be shorting the shit out of bitcoin once again which means that the market is going to experience more volatility which means that the market is probably going to drop like 50 60 percent from 100,000 meaning that it's going to go back down to like 50 60,000 okay to the levels we're currently at that's unheard well it's not unheard of in bitcoin but that's just a lot, you know, that's a deep, deep retracement in a bull market. But bearish weekly KST crossed. The first cycle move is the red dot. The second major cycle move is the blue dot and the cycle top is the green dot. So let's go look at all the red dots. Red dot. Okay. First cycle move, pull down. We are here. Okay. December 2024. Boom. We are here. Boom! We are here. Boom! We are here. Boom! We have still yet to go. <laughs> <laughs> Look what happens with the blue dots, okay? The uh, RSI pumps. Blue dot, RSI pump. Blue dot, RSI pump. Blue dot, RSI going to turn very soon for a pump. Like... As I said, the charts don't lie. And if you're selling your old coins right now, damn, you're selling them at the wrong time. You're selling them at while the market is currently bleeding. Because in this beautiful kind of half moon pattern here with a triangle a wedge pattern up here, we broke out and we ran. Here, we are currently still kind of fiddling around here at the moment because people the institutions don't want the market to run away before they can get bitcoin down at this very tiny teensy market cap now this is the best news of the day so far because morgan stanley one of the biggest wealth managers in the world worth about 1.5 trillion dollars morgan stanley offers to offers bitcoin etfs to their wealthy clients now this all happened on wednesday and in order to have your money with Morgan Stanley, you need to have a net worth of at least one and a half million dollars, which means that their, their people, okay, at Morgan Stanley, their investors are here. Yeah, Morgan Stanley is allowing 15,000 plus financial advisors to sell shares of BlackRock's IBIT and Fidelity's FBTC Okay, now this is 15,000 people, okay, worth $1.5 million each. That means there's 15,000 millionaires. Now, if each one of them had to buy just one Bitcoin, that's 15,000 Bitcoin gone. Gone. Out of here. You ain't getting that shit back. Okay. Now, one Bitcoin out of one and a half million dollars is like, like chump change for, for that kind of value right now. I would actually take a million. I would even take 1.4 million. Leave me with 100K. 1.4 million and I invest in Bitcoin. I'd get 20 Bitcoin right now. Freaking awesome. 20 Bitcoin. Okay. January's approval of spot Bitcoin ETFs in the US broke this news okay not only that but all the wealth managers have yet to come in yet so cool blackrock fidelity those are the ones that have their um their etfs guess who hasn't come in here yet goldman sachs pence wealth jp morgan ame price brookfield bnp paribas aqr capital group ubs just by the way one of the biggest charles schwab Boston Partners, AXA, Allspring, Geode, Gen Geniosis, LaSalle, TGS, American, 
Bank of America. <laughs> These are just some of the wealth managers in the US. Let alone all the other wealth managers outside of the US. Okay. Where you're having nation states adopting Bitcoin. Uh, countries adopting Bitcoin. Institutions adopting Bitcoin. Banks adopting Bitcoin. If you have not yet accumulated Bitcoin, I can't help you. I just cannot help you anymore. Then you may as well just leave the channel. Okay. But if you have accumulated Bitcoin, show some love because I'm bringing to you this crazy, awesome alpha here all the time. Okay. And just what I want to share with you, one last very, very important message to you is that even though there is war that has been fabricated and the money printing just continues to increase. Remember that Bitcoin is the best hedge against anything else on this planet. And I do believe that, uh, I think it was Michael Dull that actually said, how important is love and relationships in comparison to Bitcoin? And people thought Bitcoin was more important than love and relationships. Love and relationships actually came second to that. Okay. So I don't know about you, but I wouldn't not want to own any Bitcoin. So use my link down below, my private link down below. Look at this. We're getting ready to make the next move up. Okay. We're getting ready to break this trend, this pattern. I did show you for so long now. Look here. We broke, we hit the target, we hit, we pushed up a little bit more, then we pulled back down and then we try to rally right back up to that same resistance level right there. Boom, rejected all the way back down to, I wonder where we're finding support right now. So I'm in some trades. My Zen is a little bit down at the moment. I'll add some more to it in a little bit, but it's okay because the markets will turn very likely from here. I wanted to say to you that once we broke this white box, that was looking a little bit dangerous for me because it could bring us back down to Possibly this 58k level, maybe, yeah, 58, 56 and a half to 58k. But that is just a fallacy right now. Until it happens or until it doesn't. Love you. Thanks for being here with me on the channel today. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so that you know when I am ready to do my live session with you on Monday evening. We're going to talk about crazy stuff on the session. Thanks for being here. I truly appreciate you. And we'll see you on the next one. Bless us all. Take care and have a lovely day ahead.